Hey guys, it's a beautiful winter day here in Florida today. It's about 70, 72 degrees outside. It's really, really nice. It's sunny and bright. It's just beautiful. My cats are loving it. They have their little screen room out there and they just love days like this. So I thought I'd take advantage of the nice weather today to do a really full clean out of my beta tank. It's been a little bit dirty lately with some hair algae and also the ostracods are kind of getting a little bit out of control. I don't mind them so much but yeah they really tend to take over. So we're gonna do a full clean out of the beta aquarium today. This is my five gallon fluval spec. It was pretty much covered in green spot algae. It's pretty hard to clean up on top of the shelf behind my desk. It's up so high. Also the open is pretty narrow and my driftwood gets in the way of me really scrubbing the glass. I also noticed that the sand was getting kind of compacted and icky so I just decided it was time for a good deep clean. I brought it out here, sprayed it with the garden hose and scrubbed it down really well. It's now totally clean like new and I'm ready to set it back up again. You guys have been asking me how I keep my driftwood to stay down and actually now that it's a bit waterlogged because it's been in the aquarium for so long, I'm hoping it'll stay down on its own, but I don't know. I'm going to test that theory out here pretty soon. This is how I've done it thus far. This is egg crate or light diffuser. I cut it to the exact proportions of the inside of the tank, and I also decided I would try kind of like building it up a little bit. I cut another couple of pieces and stacked them on top of each other over here too. And then I used clear fishing line to attach the driftwood to the light diffuser. So I lowered this down into the aquarium and poured the sand over it and it was all set. And that's why I had such an issue with attaching my plants to this. I couldn't just take the driftwood out and attach them because it was all connected and it wouldn't come out very easily. This side was already coming loose so um, it was only attached by that side, so I took it off. I would like to retie the plants. Now that it's out of the aquarium, I can actually do a much better job of tying the plants on. This one fell off. <laughs> While this did help a lot in keeping the hardscape to be the way I wanted, I didn't like it in the long run. It created a situation where I couldn't get the sand very clean. I couldn't stir it up while I was doing water changes because it would just get, you know, stuck down in these pockets and it wouldn't it wouldn't stir up so I could never really clean the sand and I did notice that when I dumped it all out today there was two different colors in the sand one was kind of like a grayish and the other one was more close to what the sand started out as so that kind of freaked me out like it just I don't know I think there was a lot of bacteria building up in there that probably wasn't very good now that it has been underwater for a long time it may actually be waterlogged enough to where it can hold itself down, but we will see. Another reason for wanting to do this is to get rid of the string algae. It's just been getting a little bit crazy out of control. It's that like long filamentous green algae that I talked about in one of my previous videos. When Arlo tries to swim through it, he gets a little bit stuck in it. I mean, he can still get out, but it's definitely irritating for him. It's not nice to look at. I have scrubbed down the piece of driftwood really, really well, and now I'm just putting it in the aquarium without anything holding it down and filling it up to see if it will be able to sink by itself. I was thinking that I was going to throw away this sand and use some brand new sand, but actually it's cleaning up pretty well. I've rinsed it out about six times now and it's starting to rinse pretty clear. So I think I'm going to rinse it out a few more times and just reuse this sand. I still have to clean off the plants. The plants are probably where the majority of the string algae is hiding. So I want to really clean these off. Hi Roger. How's this looking? Oh look you guys, it's sinking by itself. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so I have filled it up about three quarters of the way. I'm going to carry this to where it belongs and then fill it up the rest of the way with a bucket. This is what the filter setup is like for this Fluval tank. It's got this big sponge with some cutouts in it. And this is what it came with, a little packet of biomedia. It also came with a little packet of chemical filtration media. 
which was activated carbon. I did not use that and instead I just fill up this chamber with some of my blue bio balls that I have. It's kind of tricky, you have to like push this down and then shove them in and try not to let them fall back out the other side as you're shoving them in there, <laughs> but it works. I also have this cover that I made to go over the filter intake. My beta tends to like to lay up against the filter intake, which is not very good for him because his fins could get sucked in there. So I just cut this piece of plastic canvas from the craft store to fit the size that I needed. I folded it over and I used fishing line to tie it in place. It's a little bit loose, but it sets down there just fine and it covers the whole thing. Alright, so now all of my plants are attached and I'm ready to put the driftwood in the aquarium. Time to set him free! You ready for this Arlo? <laughs> 